click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello guys welcome to ekida welcome to this video on laplace transform problems let us see what problem number 3 is here you can see i have drawn a diagram and we are supposed to find i of t i of t is a current which is in the last loop there is a dependent voltage source whose value is 3 into i of x where i of x is this current and you can see because there is a current source between two loops there is a super mesh so this is a super mesh problem you have this 15 volt 12 volt source and switch is changed from position 1 to position 2 at t equal to 0 this is all, all the values are given to us so as usual what we should do first first because there is capacitor we need to make sure whether there is any initial voltage across that capacitor or not because finally we have to solve this circuit for that we need to know the voltage so let's solve this circuit which is at t equal to 0 minus and at position 1 so here i have drawn the diagram and solved also so at t equal to 0 minus this circuit is like this you can see this part is what i have not written this right part right hand side part is not written so this 11 ohm resistance and 3 farads capacitor now we are replacing this capacitor with the open circuit the reason is the circuit is in steady state and capacitor will act as open circuit also you can see this is a dependent voltage source so this i have called i1 loop 1 this is loop 2 current is i2 and for loop 3 current is i3 and because here there is open circuit this i3 is 0 amperes also you can see because of this super mesh as current of 6 amperes going down i1 is going down but i2 is going up so i have also written equation as i1 minus i2 is equal to 6 because i1 is greater or is in direction of this current source and this ix i can see ix here but we have called this current as i2 so now onwards we will call this ix as i2 after this equation number one we will need because there are two unknowns we will need one more equation so that equation is got or achieved by you can see this blue line applying kvl to this super mesh that is combination of loop 1 and loop 2 it will give me the equation which is like this how this equation comes well you can see this is the voltage source so because i'm going from negative to positive i will call this as plus 3 ix then here it will be minus 4 into i1 so you can see it here then if i come here it will be minus 10 into i2 which you can see is the third term then fourth term will be minus 9 into again i2 because i3 is 0 it will not be i2 minus i3 then if i come downwards here it will become minus 7 into i2 which i have noted here and then i think there is no term so the loop is completed and when i solve this i get this equation number 2 which is of this form now i have equation number 1 as well as i have equation number 2 by solving them i get i1 equal to 5.11 ampere and i2 equal to minus 0.889 amperes so i1 and i2 are done now the question is what is the voltage across this capacitor this is vc and we so we need to get what is the voltage across this capacitor so for that i have drawn this diagram only this part only this loop number three is what i have drawn separately here and this is vc of uh, zero minus so if i apply kvl again to this loop in clockwise direction see what we will get minus 15 then minus 11 into 0 because there is no current i3 is 0 minus 8 into 0 well here i also am going from positive to negative so i will get minus of vc so you can see it here minus 15 then minus 11 into 0 then minus vc of 0 minus so it is minus vc of 0 minus then minus 8 into 0 and then minus 9 into this will get i3 minus i2 but this i3 is 0 so you can substitute 0 here everything equal to 0 as right hand side is 0 as a rule of kvl and when i rearrange the terms i will keep this 15 
and VC of 0 minus. So this 15 and VC of 0 minus has been kept on one side. These two terms are 0 and this is taken on the right hand side. So it becomes positive. So plus 9, this minus becomes plus and I3 is 0. So it is minus of I2. Though it is minus of I2 itself is minus 0 0.889. So when I solve it, I get equal to 8. And when I solve for VC of 0 minus, I get answer equal to minus 23 volts. So that means the initial voltage on capacitor of value 3 farads. Well, let us check the value. Yes, it is 3 farads. So it is going to be minus 23 volts. So now it is a time to draw the circuit for time t greater than 0. So when time t is greater than 0, this switch will move to position number 2. So we will only draw this part of circuit and we will replace this capacitor whose value is 3 farads with the same capacitance as well as the voltage source of minus 23 volts. Now minus 23 so I have written minus and positive like this. So here I am writing 23 volts. So for this circuit when I again apply KVL what I shall get minus 12 minus 10 into IT or I of T. Then again minus 23, then voltage across capacitor will be minus 1 upon 3 integration of IT, I of T into DT and minus 11 into I of T. So that equation I have written here, which you can check. And then minus 12 and minus 23 has been combined to give, give me 35. Then this 10 into I of T and 11 into I of T has been combined to give 21 into I of T. And then it is minus 1 by 3 into 0 to t. Why it is 0 to t? Because already I have written its initial value. See for this capacitor, I am writing from 0 to t because initial voltage has been written separately which is 23 volts. And so this is the equation which I will get. So if I change the sign here plus and plus, everything will become plus and 35 goes to right hand side it becomes minus 35. So 21 into I of T plus 1 by 3 and the integration of this term. Now if I apply Laplace transform, so this is the equation which we get after applying Laplace transform. So what I will get, I will get 21 into I of S because 21 is the total value of resistance. This 21 is what, how I got this 21, 10 and 11 added. So 21 into I of S plus 1 by 3 integration Laplace transform of this integration will be 1 by S into I of S equal to minus of 35 divided by S. So again if I rearrange this, if I take I of S common, I will get 21 plus 1 upon 3 S equal to minus 35 divided by S. And then if I cross multiply, I will get 63 into S plus 1 upon 3 S. So this S and S will get cancelled and so if I again rearrange the terms I shall get I of s equal to this uh, 63 into s plus 1 divided by 3 equal to minus 35 and so this is the final answer that I will get after solving it what I have done I have made the coefficient of this s as 1 so 63 is common so 105 divided by 63 is minus with this minus sign it is minus 1.667 and here comes 1 by 63 and so when I apply this inverse Laplace transform I of S becomes I of T this minus 1.667 as it is and you know the formula 1 upon S plus A the Laplace transform of 1 upon S plus A is nothing but E raised to minus A T and that is our answer. So this is how I got the current for this complete problem. So that's all that is the answer. So thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.